Hello, I'm Tom Richardson from Argo Yachting and today we're going to be looking around this 2011 Fairline Targa 50 Gran Turismo. So we'll start the tour here on the transom uh, the Fairline Targa 50 and there's actually an awful lot of features uh, just here on the boat. Uh, the most obvious one being the Fairline tender launch system uh, developed just by Fairline as a solution to uh, the old passerelles or cranes that were used to lift the heavier jet tenders into the water or the big high-low platforms. Um, the advantage that this system has of course is that the weight of the tender is in front of the back of the hull so you still have lift underneath the tender weight and it doesn't affect the, the trim of the boat so much. Uh, the way it works is these chocks flip open like this the tender sits on board and then this whole rectangular section here lifts up and down into the water. Then you just drive your tender off. Same again, you drive your tender on, step off and using a remote control, bring her aboard. It's a really elegant, safe, simple system for launching the tender. There's some other great features on the back of the boat. Um, the corking in the teak has been upgraded to a gray or a silver. Um, as opposed to the more traditional black corking, gives it an exceptionally modern look to an already modern design. There's a backlit name, there's large hull glazing for a well-appointed crew cabin. This aft cockpit seating actually uh, drops into a more sunbathy position. And uh, these small features here are quite important. They hold flexible poles for the cockpit cover. So you can keep the cover up, but it doesn't end up hitting the, the back of your head. So a really, a really good uh, system for when it's not a sunny day like this. Over on the far side, you have a letterbox passerelle uh, for if you're taking the boat to Europe or anywhere where you need to use a passerelle to get on and off the boat. You also have a, a cockpit shower there. We'll, we'll head on board. So stepping up into the cockpit of the Targa 50, uh, again, there's even more cleverly thought out ideas here. So there's a folding teak table on a hydraulic leg, so you can drop that down and then with the seat back, back, turn it into a big sunbathing area at the back here. Um, forward to the, after the galley really, you've got a barbecue and you've got a hinge up window. So it really opens the cockpit and the upper saloon into, into one big space. So under the half sunbathing area here or seating area if you're dining is a really large really crew cabin with almost a full transom glazing there so plenty of natural light and something that's again pretty unique on a on a 50 foot yacht but super useful whether that's just for storage whether you do want to have crew on board or occasional guests that can use that room Here in the cockpit, uh, it's also worth looking above our heads because there is a electric sun canopy that comes out and provides shade for this aft seating. And then above that, you have a twin track vision uh, M5 system for satellite te tele television, no matter where you are in the world, and a large open array radar. Um, talking about the exterior of the boat, forward on this at the uh, foredeck is incredible storage. There's two large wing lockers and a very, very large forward locker that has room for a uh, life raft in addition to your fenders and your chain. So you're really able to clear this area from any kind of working apparatus and store it at the front of the boat. So here we are in the uh, deck saloon and uh, upper galley of the, uh, the Targa 50 and it's a really lovely space um, and it can really transform which is, is fantastic. So on a hot day like this when the sun is shining you can open up the, the sunroof, the vast sort of electric sunroof here, the two uh, windows on either side the smaller of which lower down so that opens up and then the aft window there that hinges open opens this space right up almost like you're on a, an open boat and then with the reverse cycle air conditioning um, you can close all of those 
and set the climate exactly as you would like, whether that's a bit warmer on a chilly day or a bit colder on a, on a hot day. Looking across at the, the galley here, um, it's a bar style galley opposite the seating, but it's still extremely well appointed. Um, you have a, a dishwasher, microwave oven, two point hob, large fridge here. And then uh, if you're wondering where your television would be, just further forward in this unit under here is a power up television unit and uh, entertainment audio system. So once you've, you've had your dinner, you can still use this area to sit and relax. Um, speaking of this area, the seating area, it has a, a large table on a telescopic leg that opens right up for dining or can be folded smaller and lowered to be a coffee table um, of an evening. And throughout this boat really, there's some very clever um, storage solutions. One of my favourite being this large crockery drawer underneath the helm here, which opens up and has all of your plates and mugs, which I think is just a really clever Ever storage. So uh, speaking of the helm, we'll head up there next. So here we are at the, the helm of this, uh, this Fairline Tiger 50. Um, she's fitted with the Volvo D9575 engines. And um, what's great about this helm position is the sheer amount of information in front of me and uh, the amount of features that are right, right in front of me to touch, really. Um, it's very, very well appointed. There are a total of six screens here. You have three of the Garmin GMI 10s. So those are your tri-daters, your speed, your depth. Uh, they can also run your auto helm. Um, there's also a Garmin GHC 10, so that's your small screens. In addition to those, you have two color chart plotter radar screens on either side of the helm here, um, both of which are the Garmin 712s. It has a bow and a stern thruster. Uh, it's actually twin stern thrusters because of that tender launch system we mentioned earlier. Uh, they fitted two thrusters, one either side to keep, keep the power up there for maneuvering the boat. VHF that's very much to hand, easy to reach. Trim tabs. It has an Eberspatcher diesel uh, demist system. So when the air conditioning um, is not enough to quickly clear the windscreen, you have a, a fully uh, independent uh, demist system for that and then over here um, you've got a chain counter spotlight uh, automatic fire extinguisher system for the engine bay um, so it's extremely well appointed and everything you can need is right here for the individual driving the boat or possibly a, a co-pilot who's doing some navigating Where we'll go now is down to the accommodation deck where I'll show you around the uh, bedrooms on this boat. So we're down on the accommodation deck and um, it's quite a unique layout on the Targa 50. Uh, it's a three cabin boat despite being 50 feet um, with two aft guest cabins here, a double cabin and a twin cabin. Both are fitted out uh, with flat screen TVs, very, very spacious, lots and lots of headroom on board those. The double cabin has Jack and Jill access to the day heads, which is through this door. And uh, this is where your, your guests can go to the bathroom and shower after swimming, or it can be closed off and used as a, a bathroom for this cabin. There is a small utility um, here on the port side where you do have a, a washing dryer machine. So if you are doing longer stays on board, or again, you want to throw towels in there, um, super helpful. And then forward is uh, really its party piece, which is this huge master cabin. So the master cabin on this boat um, is actually at the front here, but it's still a huge space. Uh, and what's really impressive is how they've achieved this flat ceiling throughout and loads of headroom. Um, above the bed is quite an amazing three panel skylight, um, which really adds some, some romance to it. You can imagine lying on the bed and seeing the stars and what have you. Um, there's a large flat screen TV opposite, 
and then you go through into a fully appointed ensuite as well. Again, with, with full headroom throughout and a large separate shower section at the back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you'd like more information on this boat, please do visit our website. You'll find the full photography set, a 360 virtual tour, a full specification and the price. Uh, if you want to see more boats like this, then please do like and subscribe our channel. And we really appreciate you getting involved. Uh, we love receiving comments and we uh, love all the followers that we get. So thank you very much. <music>